Welcome back to That's Entertainment, the weekly entertainment show where we look at all the interesting news from last week, this week. Last week, Groovy was one of the main sponsors for the Event Cinema Association Slate Day of 2023, and the ECA is celebrating its 10th anniversary. The event took place in Empire Cinemas in Walthamstow, with many exhibitors and distributors in attendance, some of whom, like us, flew in specifically for the event. So this week, we thought we'd give you a snapshot of where the event cinema industry is. In a highly informative presentation, Luke Williams from Comscore shared the general good news that the industry is firmly on the road to recovery following the pandemic, with North America in particular having a very, very strong 2022. The box office reached $35 million in the US last year, putting it within spitting distance of 2019's record goal. The best performing content was faith-based, with The Chosen taking the top spot at $14.6 million. What's interesting about The Chosen, which tells the story of Jesus Christ, is that it's hugely popular TV series on Peacock, the streaming platform, and it's also available to buy on other streaming services. Episodes 1 and 2 and Season 3 debuted in cinemas courtesy of Fathom Events last November, days ahead of their streaming launch, showing in over 2,000 screens in the US and other English language territories. The success of The Chosen looks set to continue into 2023, with a two-part Season 3 finale debuting in the US and UK, New Zealand, Canada and Australian cinemas later this week. I think one of the areas that is massively underutilized within the industry is looking at the streamers themselves and looking at the series that are going on out there. Like as we saw with the faith-based content, there's an audience and special screenings should be negotiated with the lights of Netflix and HBO at a much greater rate. I know there's probably resistance from the rights holders themselves for this particular kind of model moving forwards. But one thing we've always noticed at Groovy is if something has an audience, then it has, that should be the focus for rights negotiation. And I do think there are massive opportunities within the industry to broaden the range of content that's screened. I still to this day remember the Game of Thrones uh, season launches that were always an outdoor event, pretty much in very cold time of year in Copenhagen, which is, you know, the beginning of April. So still effectively very early spring, very late winter being minus two, minus three in a park, uh, open air with no heating, and just the park being full of people to watch that opening episode of the latest season uh, screening. So I think there's a, there's a breadth of content out there that hasn't potentially reached its audiences yet through event cinema. I think that's one of the really interesting growth areas that we could be looking into in the future. However, the wide appeal of such faith-based content hasn't proved to be any way near as popular on the other side of the Atlantic where event cinema audiences are still significantly below their 2019 box office numbers. And here are a few examples. UK and Ireland both grossed £53 million in 2019, but only got to around £21 million in 2022. Germany came in at £14 million in 2019 and made about £6 million, or €6 million, sorry, in 2022. Italy came in at £10 million in 2019, but only managed to generate £2 million in 2022. And Spain, 4 million in 2019, generated somewhere close to that by around 2.5 million in 2022. Netherlands came in at around a third on the market at 1.6 million um, this year, sorry, last year, with 2.7 million, compared to 2.7 million in 2019. And France had circa 1.5 million admissions in 2019. They're not reporting on actual ticket sales. Uh, Last year, they only accomplished about or well, 700,000. 